Um, well, my background, actually, I have an art history undergraduate degree and a graduate degree in museum exhibit planning and design, which is a very uh, particular degree to have. Um, and when I was looking for an internship in that program, I had two criteria. I wanted to work for a museum and not a firm, and I wanted to be anywhere but New York. And so I got an internship at a firm in New York, and that turned into a 10-year job. So um, it's a company called Ralph Applebaum Associates. And um, I did uh, content coordination and graphic design, and then I moved into media and started their media department. Um, when I started, we were working on the Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C., and I worked on some of the halls for the Museum of Natural History. And then, after having three or four jobs in one firm, I decided it was time to see what else I could do, um, and the job at MoMA came up. And uh, so I really, a lot of the web experience was on the job training, um, and then I started, to, I had started with video and then moved into web, and um, so I came to MoMA, and, was able to work with a great team over the last 10 years again, so um, that's how I got here. But it's interesting to kind of go from um, a firm that works with a lot of different museums where you work on a project, you do it, and then you move on to the next one, and you sort of don't live with your results, um, and coming to work for one museum where you do a project and you have to live with what you've done, and if it doesn't work, you have to fix it. Um, and if it starts to not work after several years, you have to evolve it. And so it's been, I think it's been a really interesting experience, especially with technology, where technology is changing and you do a project, like you do a redesign, and you think, okay, I'm done. And then, you know, three years later, you're like, okay, it's time to do another one. 